Why is a wealth tax a bad idea? Well, it tries to make the wealth pie more equal, but we need a policy that focuses on making the entire pie bigger. This would improve the economy, speed up innovation, and grow the total tax base. Going one step further, new policies should focus on improving current tax dollar spending. There's a lot of bureaucracy and waste that could instead be put to creating more equal opportunities. With a hot campaign trail, wealth tax is hitting more news feeds. Also, I'll show you research on the widening wealth gap, um, but with the points you're about to see, a wealth tax is not a good solution. Unfortunately, politicians are using the idea to buy votes. Now, before we really dive in, I'd appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel. All right, why is a wealth tax a bad idea? Up first, a wealth tax would disincentivize saving money. Building wealth is part of the American dream, but the government taxes you at nearly every step. Income, sales, property, inflation, which is an indirect tax, and death taxes already take a big bite out of your potential wealth. And wealth tax would slowly eat away at what's left every single year. Now the second reason uh, why a wealth tax is a bad idea is implementation. Measuring total wealth is more challenging than measuring income. When you earn a paycheck, you know exactly what it's worth. But if you own uh, valuable family heirlooms or a private bu business, it's hard to measure. If valuing a business was easy, we wouldn't have an active stock market. This alone would make implementing a wealth tax near impossible. One more example, uh, some investors own valuable patents. Uh, these and other hard to value intangible assets are growing in our tech driven world. All right, the third reason why a wealth tax is a bad idea is government oversight. The IRS would come up with thousands of pages of new rules to measure total wealth and enforce the new laws. It would be a convoluted and expensive system. Then ongoing audits would add a whole new level of government surveillance. As mentioned, it's much easier to measure income, but with a wealth tax, Uncle Sam would need to know about everything you have stashed away. Uh, any gold saved up or any properties overseas, uh, nothing is safe. The fourth reason why a wealth tax is a bad idea is cash flow. If all of your savings are tied up in a business, it makes it hard to pay wealth taxes. This is the case with many small business owners. Let's say an entrepreneur has worked hard and taken a great risk. He has turned his savings of $100,000 along with uh, a really big idea into a $100 million business but this person is still in the early stages and the profit margin is small. For perspective, there are multi-billion dollar companies that still operate at a loss, like Uber. The only amount taken out in this example is uh, used to meet minimum living expenses. The rest is reinvested in the business's employees and growth. But if a small 1% wealth tax is applied, he will have to come up with an additional well, an extra million dollars after adjusting for other taxes. This would limit the business owner's ability to hire new employees and grow the business. The fifth reason why wealth tax is a bad idea is that it limits the power of free markets. Investment comes from savings, and if wealthy can't save, they won't invest. Or if they can't save as much, they won't invest as much. Investors tend to move their money where it is treated best Sure, capitalism has its problems, like monopoly power and tragedy of commons, but it's one of the most productive systems we've had throughout history. With current government intervention, one of the biggest problems is that a good chunk of taxpayer dollars is wasted on low ROI programs. There's an old saying that goes like this, the closest thing to eternal life is a government program. Governments are monopolies and their inefficiencies can last much longer than private businesses. For more insight, you can check out my article on why socialism is great in theory, but terrible in practice. I'll leave a link to that down in the comments below. The sixth reason why a wealth tax is a bad idea is it's been tried and it has failed many times. With history as a guide, we know a wealth tax doesn't work well. 
In 1990, Europe had 12 countries with a wealth tax, but today only three remain. The taxes pushed the wealthy out of the countries, and the rules were expensive to enforce, and also they didn't raise as much tax revenue as expected. Um, this ties into the other points that I've shared today, and it shows why a wealth tax has failed. So let's not emulate past failures with wealth confiscation and redistribution. Now, the idea of wealth tax comes from a good place. It's trying to solve a real problem. The main benefits or goals of a wealth tax are to increase government funding and reduce income inequality. Those can be noble pursuits, but a wealth tax wouldn't be efficient when put into practice, and hasn't been in other cases. In the midst of the fourth industrial revolution, there's a clear problem with wealth concentration. Automation is improving the lives, improving all of our lives and driving population growth. There are now more people trying to fill jobs, but many of the new jobs uh, automate work further and require years of education. So true unemployment is climbing. I cover these ideas in one of my other articles on universal basic income. I'll link to that in the description as well. It's packed with unique research. On a side note, after the longest bull market in US history, of course wealthy investors have more. But they stand to lose a lot more during the next stock market crash, which I doubt you'll see those headlines when that happens. Still, we're entering a new economic paradigm and we need a better plan to create um, equal opportunities. Now for some final thoughts. Don't overburden the successful with even more progressive taxes. They've learned how to add great value to our society. The majority of the world's billionaires have improved or created innovative systems. Instead, new policy should focus on improving inefficient programs and leveling the playing field of opportunities. Now, one wealth tax that I'm more likely to get behind is the current estate tax. When a very wealthy person dies, Uncle Sam takes 40% of the total. That's after lifetime exclusions and barring other loopholes, many of which should prob probably be closed. And depending on the state the person lived in, there's an additional cut. These current death taxes help prevent an endless dynasty of family wealth. The first generation builds it, the second maintains it, and the third squanders it. This isn't always the case, but it's a good rule of thumb. It makes sense as wealth is divided between heirs and taxed elsewhere. But still, kids of super wealthy are super privileged. Some of them are taught well and work hard to add even more value to society. That's great. But some just enjoy the free ride and are a tax on society in a sense. So implementing a higher death tax for the super wealthy might be a better path forward. If they've had innovative ideas and worked hard to build their fortune, they can probably spend their money better than politicians could. And a higher progressive death tax would incentivize them to donate the excess to charity. And already many of them do that uh, with a foundation that was, uh, for example, with a foundation that was set up by Bill and Melinda Gates. Or, these uh, super wealthy can then let the government put it towards more equal opportunity programs. This will help give underprivileged people better opportunities to work hard, add value to society, and in return build their own fortune. As politicians and voters consider a new uh, wealth tax or just wealth tax policies, I hope they consider some of the thoughts I've shared. And ultimately, I'm a big fan of equal opportunity but too often people confuse it with equal outcome. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the thoughts that I've shared today, and I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll be one of the first people to get access to my newest research. Um, and feel free to leave any comments. Uh, I read everyone. Uh, feel free to make suggestions on future research. Uh, and once again, thanks for stopping by.